Hey, Uncle Deke here. I want to show you something. I made a uh, homemade bi-quad antenna. I got it instructions right off of RC Groups. It is um, Ivy Crazy design. It's one he put up for anybody to make if they wanted to. That's the plane I use on a Bixler. I'm using it with my homemade quarter wave antenna that I made out of an old uh, uh, Dragon Link antenna. The reason why I wanted to show you those pictures is because it's in my basement right now and this is a test, an amazing test of how well this antenna works. Now it says it reads through things better than a patch antenna. Now remember it's in my basement it's actually going through my furnace. It's going through a beam in my basement. It's going through the wall. There's a garden, water garden on the other side of that wall is having to read through. Okay, right now, not only reading through all that, it's reading through this garage right here. Now granted, this is not world-class video, but I wanted to try it at all different angles. And it's reading off of that right wing right there, and that's where my homemade uh, quarter wave antenna is, which I've had outstanding luck with. I'm eventually going to be uh, about 400 feet away from where it's reading. Now it's reading through the uh, this bank because it's uh, higher here. Um, This yard is back behind mine's where I go to test a lot of stuff. Those trees are four or five hundred feet away from where the antenna is. Again, it's reading through all of my house and yard and that garage. And now I'm going to go stand behind another garage. So it'll be reading through all of that plus this garage too. Now this is more in line with the antenna, but it's still reading through all that other stuff. Now right there, it's a little gap between the trees. That's pretty much a straight shot through to it. Of course, I'm outside. It's in the basement. I just made this antenna. Just finished it. This is the my beta testing. You might call it a range test. Now, from what I've read, the biquad antenna is, uh, has about a 50 degree view, but I'm going to use it in conjunction with a uh, patch antenna on a diversity box. Okay, now I'm going to go over here on the other side of this tree, and really there's nothing in the way except the house, the beam, and the garden. And you can tell it gets a little bit better, especially when I point the antenna more at it. Antenna sideways now, which shouldn't make any difference. That's a pretty much a straight shot. This is the most unobstructed view so far. It's underneath those two small windows in the basement and back at the other side of the house back through the garage, reading through the garage. Never once was there a picture here that you couldn't have flown with. Wouldn't have been very much fun, but you wouldn't have had lost anything. Of course, the next thing I gotta do is take it out and try it out in the open. Right now my feet are getting wet because we have had three or four days of rain and everything's soggy, even the high ground soggy. Now here it's it's as close as it's going to get outside. It's right underneath the right in line with that water garden. Now there's just a pretty darn good picture. Still, it's reading through the the house, the furnace, the I beam. Okay, let's take it back downstairs. 
I wanted to try all different kinds of angles here. Of course, this is uh, kind of on top of it now. Didn't know a plane could fly downhill and sideways like this, did you? Don't mind my messy hanger. Been busy. Now you can see it up there. Right in front of me. Pointed out that way. Pretty amazing test. Hey, Uncle Deke out. Subscribe if you like it. Let me know what you think. Bye.